Hi everyone, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to paint dead flesh. So this is a flesh recipe you could use on zombies or vampires, anything dead really. So to start with I'm going to be using Rikon Flesh Shade. And you could use something like Bugman's Glow. Um, so what I'm really trying to do with this is just create shadows in the grooves of the muscles. So if you use Bugman's Glow, the flesh will end up darker but it will still have a similar effect. So I'm just going to be applying the Reichland Flesh Aid all over the area. Alright, so this is how the model looks after the Reichland Flesh Aid is dried. And now we're going to be moving on and applying Flayed One Flesh to all of the raised area, or the raised areas of the muscles. Alright, so now I'm just applying that flayed one flesh. So you can use any color that's sort of similar to this. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be kind of using a glaze over this. So it's going to be hidden pretty well. So I'm just applying it to all those tops of the muscles. You want to leave that that dark Reichlin flesh shade shadow underneath. Or if you use Bugman's glow, this is going to be much darker, but should still look similar to how it does here. All right, so now we're going to start making the first glaze that will go on the area. This is going to be the first of two glazes. So we're just going to start with putting some Bugman's flesh down. Make sure you put a decent amount if you're doing quite a large area of flesh. And then I'm just going to put on this, I don't know how to say it, but that purple. You can use any light purple, anything will work fine. And just mix it about 50-50. That should work. And then I'm going to put lots of water in. You want this to be a completely watery consistency. Even if you think you haven't put enough water, it's probably best to just put a little bit more water than you think is necessary. You really want it to pull into these little droplets. Alright, so now I'm just going to be applying this kind of glaze we've made. Now I could have even put a little bit more water in here. Because it's kind of a bit dark on the model. But it doesn't matter if that happens. You know, you can always wipe off the brush. And just move that, just move that wash around. So you can kind of move it off some of the muscles like I am. Just try and make it pull towards the grooves, but you do want some of the color showing. So something like this will do. All right, now on to the second glaze. I'm going to start off by using Sotec Green. You can use any turquoise color. It's really not important when making these glazes. I'm just going to put a decent amount down again. And now we're going to put in Bugman's Glow. So this kind of makes a gross grey blue kind of colour. And I'm just going to add a bit more blue. So you can kind of copy what the end is. Just mix in a bit more or less to end up looking like this colour. And then I'm just going to put in some flayed one flesh. Or you could use white. You just, you just want this mixture to look a bit lighter than it was before. So around about this colour is what you want it to look like. And then again, I'm going to add lots of water. All right, so now I'm just going to be applying that second glaze. And don't be afraid if this looks a bit blue. Once it's dry, it'll look a bit more normal. But if it does start pooling, you can move it around like that pinky kind of glaze we used before. So it should end up looking something like this. And once it's dry, the skin will really have a dead kind of effect to it. All right, so now that that wash is dried, you can see we've got a pretty dead effect looking on the skin. So this is a little bit dull, but you could leave it at this realistically. But if you want, you can go back with some flayed one flesh and just add some highlights to the muscles, like I'm going to here. This will make it pop 
a bit more, but if you're doing something small, you could just leave it at this step. All right, and now that those highlights are applied, this is around about what it should look like. All right, so I've just gone away and I've done a little bit more of the model, just so you can see more of what this effect can achieve. You can see this looks pretty good for dead flesh. So there's also other things you can do with this. If you mix the glazes, use a bit more or less, so you can see with this dead head here, I've used a lot more of that blue that we made. This I've kind of mixed in some more pink with the end. The head I've used more flayed one flesh. You can kind of play around with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.